The final battle of the Cell arc comes to an epic conclusion of a final Kamehameha clash between Super Perfect Cell and the young Gohan. A clash that not only signifies the level of power that Gohan has just achieved, but also the passing of the torch of Goku humbly realizing that his moment to shine has come and gone. And it's time to step aside and let his son be Earth's new protector. Now again, like I've done with the previous video of the 5 ways Kid Buu could have been defeated, I'm going to point out different positive outcomes that could have occurred realistically in order to defeat Cell. In addition, I want to clarify that I'm not pointing out plot holes, but rather playing around with the information we had during the Cell games and explore the different options and routes the story could have concluded. So all these solutions will only be applied during the start of the Cell games, therefore commenting down below that Vegeta or Trunks could have killed semi-perfect Cell does not count. Shortly after the Cell Games was televised announcing that the tournament will be held in 10 days, Goku and Gohan finally emerged from the chamber with their new master Super Saiyan forms. Goku uses instant transmission to find and assess Cell's new perfect form, and goes back to the lookout and laugh off the fact that he is no match for Cell. In addition, Goku and Gohan then pays a visit to Korin and ask if he can determine how Goku's power measures up against Cell. Where Korin deduces that Cell is stronger and Goku once again laughs it off claiming that he discovered a great secret while in the hyperbolic time chamber. Goku does no additional training to prepare the fight against Cell. Now I know what people are already gonna say. Goku claims that no additional training will benefit him. Plus he wanted Gohan to finish off Cell and realize his potential. But if you think about it, had Goku not realized his son's latent and dormant potential, he would have trained a second time in the room of spirit and time. And given the fact how closely matched he was against Cell, even a 25 to 50 percent power increase could have proven to be significant. The reason why Goku didn't use the room wasn't because he reached his limit. I mean Goku never reaches his limit. The reason why he didn't do it because there used to be a limitation in Dragon Ball Z where the room can only be used twice, or rather used for two full days, which corresponds to two years in real time. Goku's belief in his son made him not train any further. Had he trained, I believe he could have had the capacity to push himself to Super Saiyan 2 given the fact that he already mastered the previous Super Saiyan 1 form. Just like Cell having the opportunity to basically destroy the Earth whenever he wants and win due to being able to survive in space, a huge missed opportunity for the heroes was Goku not using a second Kamehameha to finish off Cell after he blew his body in half. Like what in the actual hell are you waiting for? They could all sense his key and they just stood idly by watching him regenerate, which is absolutely crazy. Now, I'm not saying that this would have finished him off 100%, but the lack of effort and not capitalizing on a perfect opportunity is crazy. I mean, at least give Goku a sensu bean. That was a perfect opening to replenish some ki. Again, even though I understand why Goku refuses help from a narrative perspective due to his personality, this still doesn't deny that Cell could have been defeated had they took this opportunity. So after Gohan reaches the Super Saiyan 2 state, he overwhelmed Cell pretty easily. Even after Cell just powered up to maximum and punched Gohan hard in the face, Gohan was barely phased at all, and with just two punches, Gohan almost incapacitated Cell completely. Perfect Cell truly learned fear when Gohan began dodging all of his attacks, taunting him and overpowering even his strongest Kamehameha at point blank range. This almost destroyed Cell, but Gohan decided to let Cell suffer for a while, which made Goku order Gohan to kill Cell. At this point, Gohan could have easily destroyed Cell. He could have also done it on an easier level when Cell powered down to a semi perfect level. Heck, Gohan was able to one shot the Cell Juniors who were stronger than semi perfect Cell. I mean, Vegeta or Trunks and arguably even Piccolo could have either finished him off, but they all stood idly by as Cell attempts to self destruct. So yet another missed opportunity.
You know what they say, knowledge is power, and while this kind of knowledge wasn't accessible at this point of the series, however, with Goku having access to all the Dragon Balls and having two wishes, one of them could have been used to ask Shenron about a technique or a way to defeat Cell, in which he will either tell them about the fusion dance or wish for the Batara earrings. Of course, at this point of time, Vegeta is a lot less likely to help Goku in fuse, so Trunks would be the most realistic option to do it with Goku. I do realize this hinges on the fact that Goku would be willing to use fusion, but then again, I'm not arguing that, but rather, the possibility is actually realistic. Additionally, like I mentioned in the last video, Goku could have wished for immortality and reverse the wish later on, after they defeated Cell. Honestly, if it weren't for Dragon Ball Super, I would have probably forgot how effective and dangerous this technique was. The Mafuba is an ancient move that is capable of sealing demons away no matter how powerful they are. It has also been proven to work against non-demons as well. So long the technique is performed correctly and the characters don't forget to use a sealing amulet, you could theoretically trap anyone inside of it. And I think Cell is no exception as this technique could work against him if they opted to use it. And while it doesn't kill him, it's enough to stop him. Perhaps they could also send Cell to the sun while he's trapped and have him burned to death. Of course, that's assuming if you believe that Cell can't endure the sun's heat. But regardless, the Mafuba is a realistic option. When I first started making this video, I thought about incorporating Super Saiyan God as a viable option. However, due to the issue of insufficient number of good-hearted Saiyans at the time, the ritual wouldn't be realistic. Even if we count both Trunks, Goku, Gohan, alongside Vegeta and his brother, I think it would still not work due to Vegeta still bearing some malice in his heart, as evident when he made himself fall under Babidi's spell seven years after. But regardless, I thought it would be repetitive to mention it in this video as I've already mentioned it before. But if you have any other ways or methods that could have been done to defeat Perfect Cell, then please tell me about it in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this kind of video, then I have already done one for Kid Buu and the 5 ways that could have been done to defeat him. So if you like these kind of videos, then please make sure you like and subscribe. That way, I'll make more videos like these in the future. But most importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, then please like, comment, and subscribe.